starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Now, don't be impatient now. You'll all get your share. Come on, get down there. Go on, get out of here. Come on. Get down there with the Benson. Hey, what's wrong with Lassie? Oh, I think I know what it is. Frisky. Frisky? Oh, yes, the white-faced lamb. Right, the one that's always getting lost. Can I go help her? Eh, yeah, might as well. Dad! Dad, I can't find Frisky's mother either. And some of the other sheep seem to be missing too. Oh, well, maybe we better count. Rustler's dad? It could be. Fifteen sheep couldn't get through a new fence all by themselves, just wander off. Gosh. I'm gonna drive over and see Sheriff Thompson. You finish spreading this hay, huh? Okay. Disappeared this morning? Uh, or last night. Since yesterday, anyway. I'd have noticed it sooner. Look, I'm pasturing those sheep on contract on my lower meadow. I know that, Paul. Some other Calverton farmers are doing the same thing. And they've had the same problem. What do you mean? You see those? More missing sheep reports. In Calverton? Just like yours. As each case came in, I started investigating and alerted the highway patrol. And each time a funny thing happened. Every one of those farmers called me back and told me to drop the investigation. They weren't missing any sheep after all. You mean they made a mistake? Or their sheep came home somehow by themselves. Well, mine haven't. I counted the flock not an hour ago. Al Livermore and Ed James told me the same thing. Then they called me back. You think they weren't stolen, then? I don't know, Paul. It seems more likely that they must have gotten out and wandered away by themselves. Through the fence? It's always possible. However, 
suppose I come over this afternoon and we'll see if we can figure out what happened. Meantime, let me make a phone call. Oh, Jenny, Sheriff Thompson. Would you get Ranger McBride for me, please? Thank you. If the Forest Service has a patrol flight going out today, they can take a swing over the high hills and spot those sheep with no trouble. Might take days on foot. Good idea. McBride, Sheriff Thompson. I wonder if I could ask a favor. <laughs> yeah, again. Well, it's sheep again. No, I know, but this flock hasn't come home, at least not yet. up some. It, it, it's only natural. Come on. Oh, we better take a look at that knee. Nice looking dog, boy. I bet she knows her way around the block. Hey, Toby. This is Toby. As fine a working sheep dog as ever lived. And he's time, but mostly as old as these hills now, like me. Her name is Lassie. Well, now that our animals have been properly introduced, how about you and me? My name is Timmy Martin. Ah, mine's Andrew. I used to have another name. A long time ago, been so long since I Used it, it's hardly worth mentioning anymore. Pleased to meet you, Timmy. Let's uh, leave our friends get acquainted and you come along with me, huh? This way. Hand below. Uh, oh, oh. There we are. This'll do for now. All right, now. Over here, Larry. All right. You sit right down there. I know, boys, you must be about half starved. Shepherd's bread. 
I bet you never tasted any before. Make it myself. Made the cheese, too. It don't taste half bad. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you, Larry. Uh, how did you happen to wander up here, boy? Well, Lassie and I, we were trailing our sheep. Your sheep? Oh, no, my dad's. You see, Lassie picked up the trail, and we followed him up here. Boy, they sure wandered off a long ways. He didn't want her, boy. My dog, Toby, and I, we took him. You know, Lenny, it's not everyone can be a shepherd. It takes a certain solitary kind. Has to be born in a man. Or a dog. Yeah, that's all I've ever been. And comes the time when you're old, used up. No place for you. I am resigned to that. That's the way the world is. But what about Toby? His sheep or his life. Take him away from him and he just lay down and died. Why, from time to time, Toby and me, we borrow a few sheep. You borrow them? No, uh, we thought we were stealing them, of course. We weren't, though. You'd have waited a little while. You'd have had them all back in your meadow in prime condition, just like all the others we borrowed. I'm sorry, but... Lassie and I, we have to take our sheep back. You're not going to try to stop us, are you? This is for you, son. A real shepherd's flute. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> a good team. Girl of yours and this old gentleman of mine. <laughs> well, we better go, Lassie. You can start him for home. Lassie, start him moving. What's the matter with her? Your dog understands mine. She knows how important it is to Toby to be with sheep. I know. You're thinking maybe that's the way it is with me, too. Well, I suppose maybe you're right, laddie. Mr. Andrew, are you sure you're only borrowing the sheep? All right, Lassie. We'll leave the sheep here with Toby. But only long enough so I can talk to Dad. Come on, girl. Oh, come here. Do you have center braces here? Yeah. Huh. 
Huh, I wonder how that happened. Well, I don't think it just happened. Somebody probably pried it loose, took your sheep, and then put it back. Then they were stolen. Looks that way. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, hello, Timmy. But that doesn't explain how the lamb got back. You mean Frisky? Last he found him. Well, I better get back and alert the highway patrol in case they hold your stock away in a truck. If they didn't, the Forest Service will spot it from their helicopter when they fly over the hills. One way or another, we should have word today. See you later, Paul. Sheriff Thompson? Yes, Timmy. Well, Sheriff, if if you catch um, whoever did it, well, what'll happen to them? Well, now, Timmy, in the old days, we used to hang stock thieves. But now, they just go to jail where they won't cause any more trouble for a long, long time. You and your dog caused the crime wave in my county all by yourself. I'm sorry, Sheriff. Toby and me didn't mean to make any trouble for anyone. It was just the lassie and the boy know how it was. Do you have to arrest him, Sheriff? Technically, he broke the law, Timmy. Took someone else's property. But he always returned the sheep. And ours are all back. And nobody's hurt. Except Toby. But Dr. Weaver says he'll be all right. And we've learned our lesson, Sheriff, Toby and me. It's a little late, but, well... I'll have to leave it up to your father, Timmy, if he still wants to press charges. Oh, 
Paul will be out in a minute. He's on the phone talking to some of the others. You know, the neighbors who had their sheep borrowed by Andrew. Well, what did they say? Well, they all said that pasturing sheep takes a lot more time than they figured, and it's time they'd like to use for their regular farming. It would. You have to live with sheep to know. None of us can afford a full-time shepherd, but each of us farmers could give you four or five days a month, Andrew. You'd make a good living, and you and Toby could be near your sheep. And you wouldn't have to work very hard. Paul, what about the charges? Charges? What charges? Oh, boy, did you hear that, Lassie? Thank you very much, sir. And you too, ma'am. <laughs>